India is closing in on Brazil to become the second country after the US in terms of total number of COVID-19 cases in the world. While Brazil had 86,704 new cases, that in India was 53,158. While Brazil has a population of only 21.36 crore, that in India is 139 crore. The second wave of COVID-19 across parts of India is taking a toll on the hospitality sector. The sector was already suffering from the impact of the first wave. With the resurgence of pandemic, things are likely to get worse. City hotels in markets like Mumbai, Pune, Bengaluru are expected to take the biggest hit. The government has infused a total capital of Rs 14,500 crore in four public sector banks. In separate filings to stock exchanges, Indian Overseas Bank, Bank of India, Central Bank of India and Yuko Bank said that the government has infused capital in them. In a major relief to customers, oil marketing companies have decided to reduce the price of cooking gas by Rs 10 per cylinder from April 1st, that is today. The reduction in prices came on the back of softening in crude oil and petroleum prices during the second fortnight of March on account of recent surge in COVID-19 cases across Europe and Asia and growing uncertainty over vaccines. Drug makers Pfizer and BioNTech on Wednesday said their COVID-19 vaccine is 100% effective in adolescents of 12 to 15 years of age. The companies plan to submit the data from the trial to US Food and Drug Administration and the European Medicines Agency to expand the use of the vaccine in the 12 to 15 years age group. India's economy has bounced back remarkably from the COVID-19 pandemic and nationwide lockdown over the last one year, but it is not out of the woods yet, according to the World Bank, which in its latest report has predicted that the country's real GDP growth for fiscal year FY21-22 could range from 75 to 12.5%.